What's up everyone, bringing it back at you again. Uh, so we have already covered the Dark Iron Dwarves, we're now going to be moving on to the Maghar Orc. These are two brand new allied races um, that have been released in the World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth Alpha. Now this is definitely under testing, um, probably the, uh, the customizing options might grow, might change um, by the time this gets released. But we do have to say Dark Iron Dwarves, Maghar Orc, they're definitely coming. So if you haven't checked out the Dark Iron Dwarves yet, go ahead and check out that video. I absolutely love the Dark Iron Dwarves and how they look. Very, 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 very cool. And uh, I have yet to see any of the customizable options on the Magheart Orc. We're going to be doing the exact same thing we did for the Dark Iron Dwarves. Go ahead and check them out. Without further ado, let's do it. So, very, very similar, except the Magheart Orc loses two races. So they cannot be Paladins and they cannot be Warlocks, which is kind of upsetting. But it makes absolute sense because they don't deal with warlockery back in the day like this. Um, some of the bad orcs were the ones that dealt with the warlock style, um, which was not these type of orcs. And then the green orcs were the ones that got infused with it. It's blah 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 lore content. I'm not going to go into that in here. So they become a warrior, a hunter, a rogue, a priest, a shaman, a mage, and a monk. So without further ado, we're going to stay on warrior, keep it simple, let's check out what we can do. Alright, ooh, naked, that's what I like to see, fam. Oh, no, 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 this, this is it, this is it. Okay, so I thought they were just gonna be brown, but we got skin colors to choose from, fam. I'm loving the black dude, no homo. And then we get, okay, this guy's got like some tattoo-y looking action over here. He's a little bit rough on the shoulder, he's been through some battles. Now this guy's clean as a freaking cucumber. Just came out of the freeze fresh, fam. Oh, this guy's got veins galore, dude, look at this. Oh my gosh, these freaking... Oh, brown orcs, fam. You guys know what's up. Oh my gosh, this looks so freaking cool, dude. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep it a little bit simple here. And go with that one. Let's go ahead and see what type of facial... Okay, so you can't really see it once you've got armor on, which kind of sucks. But uh, that's pretty pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and check out the different types of face uh, expressions that we can actually choose from. Uh, very very cool i'm actually seeing an identical choice to the actual orcs here uh with the facial expressions and there is nine of them not too sure how many there are on the actual orcs but figure that one out in a bit hairstyles now this is where it's probably going to be same um to the actual orcs and it's actually a little bit different just a little bit different um that does not look right that doesn't look right at all he's hunchback of noted freaking dames fam <clears throat> that's cool yeah, they look like they got a little bit more hair than the actual orcs, to be honest. Alright, hair colors. Uh, we can choose from hair colors. We get the regular black skin, uh, hair color, uh, dusty black, uh, greenish black. We get the brown. We got the, the light skin, gray black. We got the uh, the reddish brown. And then we also got the white. And then we got the red or the orange uh, hair color from there. Uh, facial hair options. Uh, we got the, uh, the bald. Um, we got the three. We got the one. We got the full. We got the one single with the full in the back, we got the double, and we got the uh, the little little tiny dude over here, little doe tea master. And then uh, posture, oh, here, here it is, here it is. Boom, fucking lift, it's over. This is, this is, this is great. You can do so much. Once you just change the posture, you can do so much. Look at this. So we're going to randomize, look at this. Oh, you need, if you're not, that's Garage Hell Scream, dude. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so cool. When You can't play with this, the Hunchback uh, Orc. You have to play with the Standing Up Orc. It's just so freaking cool. Well, let's go ahead and head on over to what the females got. So, they're already standing up. And, uh, I'm sorry YouTube, but she's naked. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> Alright, so we got the uh, very, very similar skin colors, skin tones. I'm not a fan of that for both female and male. It looks like they, they got super duper mad veins popping out. But, uh, if you're not staring right here, you, you, you're struggling, fam. <laughs> Just gotta keep that one out. Alright, so we've got uh, facial options to choose from in here. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine different facial options to choose from for that 
uh, hairstyles. This is actually what makes or breaks me creating a female character or not in this game. Now, I probably wouldn't create a female for it, to be honest. But uh, their hairstyles are actually freaky fresh. But then again, I don't know much about the female counterparts. Uh, you want some BBC? Kaz plays games. What's going on, fam? No. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, hair color, uh, we got the, the black the black tone, um, lightish black tone, we got the greenish black, we got the brown, we got the uh, the black on gray, we got the brown, red, we got the white, we got the red, so very identical to the uh, the male counterpart, sorry, and then accessories. Now, you don't get posture choices from these uh, ladies because they are already standing up, but uh, you do have, ooh, that's very, very cool, a neck piece. You can have an actual neck piece, similar to Garona from the World of Warcraft movie, fam. So, that is both the Maghar Orc, as well as the Dark Iron Dwarves that we have just witnessed their character selection screens. Now, if you didn't see the Dark Iron Dwarves again, I do really recommend that you go ahead and check out the video once it is released. It's probably going to be released before the Maghar Orc, and it will be released as quickly as possible. Um, I'm going to go ahead and release this video as quickly as possible thank you all very much for tuning in check it out in the description box all the goodie links and then i'll catch you guys in the next one peace now before i let you guys go we do actually have uh some of their racial abilities for the maghar orcs currently in the game so we're gonna go ahead and check out what these racial abilities withhold before i go ahead and uh, leave you guys off for the rest of this video so we've got uh, an ability called sympathetic vigor um increases pet health by 10%. Now, a lot of people on the forums I did read already saying this is very, very pointless. Um, it does suck that these orcs cannot be warlocks, but you can be hunters. I'm pretty sure shamans, uh, wolves, and all that stuff, and elementals count as pets. Um, the elemental from a mage counts as a pet. I mean, there's so many things that count as pets, so this is not as useless as you think it is. It's a very, very cool um, racial ability, in my opinion. You do got Savage Blood, which reduces the durations of poisons, diseases, and curses by 10%. So in PvP combat, this is going to be very, very good and very, very useful. Um, you got Open Skies, which is a cool little traditional perk of increases mounted speed by 10%, and their actual ability is invoke the spirits of your ancestors granting you their powers ancestral call so without further ado let's go ahead and see what type of buff we get from this ferocity of the frost wolf increases mastery by a hundred and two um very very cool and i'm assuming it's going to be mastery for me because that is currently my highest stat so i'm assuming your highest enhancement stat meaning versatility mastery haste and crit is the one that is currently going to be buffed by this um but yeah this is a very very cool and interesting ability and i'm absolutely loving the magcar orcs at the moment now we can end this video